which is why I keep thinking everything here is from a storybook because it actually was. People are swimming and I think they're a bit crazy. Hello from the Lakes District. This video is for all of those people that comment on my video saying, get out of London. Well, I'm well and truly out of London. So we actually drove up to the lakes on Friday um, and today is actually Sunday. So yesterday we went for a hike. We went to Buttermere um, and did the Buttermere Haystacks hike. But because it was so windy, there's no audio. So I thought I'd just introduce it now and you can see what we got up to yesterday before we jump into it today. And I can tell you all about this wonderful place. Baby doesn't care. So it is day two. The hike yesterday was amazing, but we definitely maybe did the one we didn't intend to do because it was very hard. I ended up doing 30,000 um, steps and we ended up just like crashing after that last night. So that's why there's like only footage of the hike and then nothing. Cause it was just so vertical and so intense, but beautiful and totally worth it. I'm so happy cause the top had a cool lake. Shocking the lakes district has lakes. We would have thought. If you're interested in doing the hike, I think we did or we wanted to do. I'll put the link for all trails down below as always. And, um, but we're following that theme today for day two. We're starting the day in we're starting day two in Coniston uh, with a boat hire. So Daniel's gonna get the rowboat and he's gonna do all the work when me and Bambi just lounge around and enjoy the sights um, and take way too many Instagram photos. So I'm excited for that. The weather's amazing today. I was really nervous about the weather, but no issues. And for hiring the boat today, it is eight pounds for an hour, which is not, it's very expensive for Northern prices, but very cheap for London prices. So take that for what you will. But this lake is beautiful. It's got mountains, it's got swans, it's got sailboats, it's got it all. It's got dogs on paddle boards. It's amazing. <laughs> So we have got the boat. Bambi's actually handling it so well. Um, I'm actually so impressed. I thought she might be a bit nervous and she was a bit at the start, but then she was like running around under the seats. But the weather's so nice today. I'm just so happy because I was actually really nervous when we hired this that it would like not work out or it'd be raining or something awful, but could not get better weather. And also I don't even need this jumper. Um, I got too paranoid from yesterday, I guess, but definitely recommend it it's beautiful the lake is so nice people are swimming and i think they're a bit crazy but i like looking at it from a distance and i'm gonna stop her from jumping in and go for a swim but we have the beautiful mountains behind us and there's all different activities but 
I like the rowboat. It's a very old timey, a bit romantic, very Lakes Districty, because it reminds me like of like a picture book, like Peter Abbott, which I feel like I'm just going to be saying this whole video, but like a picture book. <laughs> but yeah, uh, we're going to take it back now. But ten out of ten recommend. Don't you agree, Bambi? Yeah, yes. take your dog and pre-book. So dog friendly. So we finished on the lake. Um, it was a great way to start the day. And now we've come to Windermere, which is kind of infamous for being a cute little village. So we're gonna walk around. It looks like it has a lot of cute cafes, might grab a silver lunch, but overall just here for the vibe. And then after this, we might go to the lake and then maybe go on a Beatrix, um, Beatrix Potter um, adventure because she wrote Peter Rabbit, which is why I keep thinking everything here is from a storybook because it actually was. Now come to Bowness. 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 I did say Bowness on Windermere, which is like another village, which is much bigger than Windermere, um, much busier. So many people, and there's a really cool. We've come down to the lake because that was the main reason I wanted to come here. Um, uh, you can do boat tours as well down the lakes, which if I was at all organised, I would have done. So definitely would recommend doing that because then you get to see all of the scenery with none of the climbing or the effort which sounds like a good deal to me but obviously they're booked out because it is crazy busy here this weekend being a bank holiday they also did um like i said the beatrix potter they have a lot of peter rabbit stuff um beatrix potter is a big influence here so there's lots of peter rabbit stores and they have the wonderful world of peter rabbit which i was gonna do but it seems a bit more child friendly so maybe i'll give that a miss for a few years shall we say Baby's about to get in a fight with a swan. So now we're going to go for a bit of a drive and go around the lake and we're going to head to, I think it's called Hilltop, which is where Beatrix lived. Um, and that's kind of where they set all of the characters and like creatures and stuff. Like that was the big influence. So heading there um, and yeah, I can live my storybook dreams because it actually is a storybook for once. I don't just keep saying it. We may find somewhere for snappies. Daniel's hungry, as always, and Bambi's about to get in a fight with this one, so we need to go <laughs> before both of them get angry. <laughs> We have arrived at Hilltop, which is where Beatrix Potter's house is. You can go inside and have a look, but not very dog friendly. And what I'd rather do is do the Beatrix Potter walk, which is from uh, Hilltop to Mock e Moss Eccles Tarn. I'm a local. <laughs> Um, so this walk is famous because it is the walk that Beatrix did on the reg and that she is kind of what inspired her characters for her stories which to me means more than like a recreation of her life. This is like what she experienced on the daily and I think that's pretty cool. So we're going to walk there. Um, so far it's just like a proper country road with some tractors and like amazing, uh, what do you call this stone? Resting stone or something? I can't remember. Uh, slatey stone? Slate. I wish there was more slate things I could buy. Um, did you know, Daniel, they didn't cut the stones for this. They just found stones that fit together perfectly, yeah. which would have taken ages. And it's still standing. Yeah, massive jigsaw puzzle. So yeah, we're going to keep going. This is how Beatrix, I imagine, walked around. <laughs> yes. Mm, a rabbit. Floppy. <laughs> I really like moss. You just don't get this in Australia or most places I've been to. So we have made it to the end of the hike. It was 1.5 Ks um, and we're at Moss Eccles Tarn, which is like this pond lake, but not really a lake because nothing in the lakes is a lake. I am learning 
But that is it for this one. We're gonna head back um, to the car, call it a night, might go to the pub because that seems like more of a thing up here. Obviously it's a thing in London, but I feel like, don't you reckon? Is that crazy? Yeah, it seems, it seems to be a big thing. Going to the pub seems more of a northern thing, and I don't know why. Also, everything's incredibly green, which I also say all the time, but this is next level. We've been very lucky with the weather. It hasn't actually rained on us, so I'm so happy. Um, but yeah, so we're going to call it a day for today, and then tomorrow is our last day, so it'll be less of a day because we are going to have to drive back to London, which is I'm not looking forward to. But anyways, do like a highlights reel. Highlight, highlights reel. I, see, this is why we're going to go home. I'm so done. <laughs> Highlights reel of the, the lakes tomorrow. Caught. <laughs> Um, it is day three. We have gotten up early and we're at Ash Tree. Is that what it is? We're at Clay Viewing Station, which is um, a castle on top of a hill which overlooks a lake. And this might be my favourite view. And also, the weather's great. So, like, what are they saying about the north and the weather? Um, but yeah, so we're going to do a few stops this morning, then head back to London. So, stop one. I'm already regretting wearing a jumper. It's too hot. Um, but yeah, beautiful old castle. Can't tell you the history of it. Has some cool stained glass. <laughs> That's like I do. We have come to Newbie Bridge, which is like the, the Swan Hotel, but has like a nice cafe with like this lake and like a bridge, and it looks like something out of like Mary Poppins. It's amazing. I'm like expecting some penguins to start dancing soon. And that is the end of this video. So um, after this, we're just driving back to London, make a few food stops, maybe get a cheeky Greg's, we'll see. Um, but other than that, nothing more interesting for you guys, unfortunately. So if you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. Tell me in the comments where else in the north I should go for weekend trips because the north is amazing. And remember to hit subscribe so I can see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.